Hi student, in previous lab activity we have learned about the types of images and object distance, image distance in front of the concave mirror. So students we have learned by the lab activity, so types of images, how does the image form in between the concave mirror when we place the object. So we have done one lab activity. In that lab activity, I have shown you V stand. On the V stand, I kept concave mirror. Before the concave mirror, I arranged one paper. And after the paper, I arranged one laser light. And I have shown on the focus on the concave mirror. Means then that reflected ray fall on the paper. So where we get the point image, that point image, that place from the concave mirror, we understood that that is a focal point and uh, two types of the focal point is called as a center of curvature. So like this we have learnt about the center of curvature and focal point of the concave mirror by using lab activity. Now in this session we are going to be learn about the representative rays to show the ray diagram of mirrors. What is the ray diagrams? So now Every time we can't do the lab activity and we can't show the formation of images. So here, how can we show the formation of image when we place the object in different places in front of the concave mirror? So here, so, uh, when we place the object in different place or different position of the concave mirror, then our image will be different, uh, means image we will get in different places. So these things we have to be show in the diagrams. So such type of diagrams is called as a ray diagrams. So let me discuss about the ray diagrams of concave mirror. So ray diagrams of concave mirrors we have to be take the some representative rays to show the ray diagram. So let me take that uh, one uh, example. So here concave mirror nothing but so this is concave mirror. So when the light fall on the concave mirror, so when the light fall on the concave mirror, so here you suppose you think this is the candle in front of the concave mirror, from the tip of the flame, one light ray is falling, that is parallel to the principal axis. So which light ray is parallel to the principal axis, falling on the concave mirror and reflecting in this direction. And uh, from the same point, uh, another light ray is coming and uh, falling on another point of the concave mirror then it is reflecting in this direction so both reflected rays meet at one point that point is called as a that point is called as a a so that is called as a image of this flame point image of the flame or so we will get the image in this distance so here like this we can discuss about the ray diagram so here we i took the parallel ray and I took the another reflected ray, another incident ray, which is fall on different place of the concave mirror. So here, in this uh, 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 diagram, we are discussing the parallel light ray and another incident, uh, parallel uh, incident ray and another incident ray reflected in a different direction and meet at one point. That point is uh, shows us the image formation. So here, then. What is the, uh, how can we identify the image, uh, form, image formation when we place the object in different places in front of the concave mirror. So let me discuss about this detail. So here student, listen here, when the light ray is uh, parallel to the principal axis from the candle, light ray is falling on the concave mirror and uh, reflecting through the focus. So this is the one of the condition follows the reflected means reflected light rays or incident rays follow this condition. When the light ray is falling on parallelly to the principal axis on the concave mirror, that light ray reflect through the focus. So let me discuss details about this ray diagrams. Discussing about the ray diagrams here. So, previous session we have learnt about the ray diagrams means reflected rays meet at where which point that point is called as the image of the object in front of the concave mirror. So, here which light is falling parallel to the principal axis that light go pass through the 
forecast. We have discussed previously this one. So let me uh, look at uh, some more uh, representative rays which is useful to uh, draw the ray diagrams. So look at students here. Uh, the light ray which is uh, passing through the focus that light ray is parallel to the principal axis. We know already this is the principal axis and this is the focus center of curvature and pole. So the light ray which is coming from the object in front of the concave mirror. So we kept the object in front of the concave mirror and the object is here. So nothing but candle. So from the candle light ray is falling and this light ray is passing through the focus and falling on the concave mirror. After falling it is reflecting parallel to the principal axis. So this is the one of the representative ray means which ray passing through the focus that ray we can take as a representative ray to draw the ray diagram. So here look at students. So this is the passing through the focus and uh, it is uh, parallel to the principal axis. And here so now another representative ray. So here the light ray which is passing through the center of curvature again it will be reflect through the center of curvature. So this is the another light ray which is we are taking as a representative, representative light ray to draw the ray diagram. One more ray diagram which is coming from the object and falling on the pole it will be reflect as in this manner and for this light principal act, principal axis act as a normal. So here these are the light rays we are taking as a representative light rays to draw the ray diagram. So first one is the light ray which is parallel to the principal axis. So first one is the light ray which is parallel to the principal axis that light ray reflect through the focus. The light ray which is a pass through the focus and fall on the incident on the concave mirror that light ray is parallel to the principal axis and the light ray which is passing through the center of curvature and falling on the concave mirror the reflected light ray is same in that direction and one more the light ray we can take as a representative light ray that is which light ray is falling on the pole and uh, incident, you know, falling on the pole and uh, reflecting. So for this uh, incident ray, principal axis act as a normal. So these are the representative rays where, uh, where we used to draw the ray diagrams for the concave mirror and convex mirror. So now we know the ray diagrams. So now we are going to be discuss about where the uh, image will be formed by position of the object. So here position of the candle, nothing but position of the candle where in front of the concave mirror and uh, position of image where, where we keep the object and where we are getting the image and uh, which type of, what are the characteristics of images. So means nothing but is it enlarged or diminished, is it inverted or erected, is it real image or virtual image. So like this we are going to be discuss in another session. I hope students you understand this session about the formation of ray diagram.